Steve Evans. Two days to go until the new campaign kicks off. How much are you looking forward to getting back to it and competing for three points again? Well, it's fantastic, dear. The opening day to any football season is, is brilliant for any manager, every player. Um, we're going to train shortly, 40 hours ahead of the game, and we'll get every player in our first team squad available to train. So credit to the coaching staff and to the medical team that they put it in that place. Um, and hopefully we come through the next uh, what's happening today and then we'll, we'll travel and train in the north tomorrow. What's the mood like in camp at the moment? I'm sure everyone's in the same boat. Just on the break on Saturday, can't come too well. Yeah, I think it's I think it's an excitement more than anything else. I think the, the lads all look forward to it. Um, competition for a place in the, the, in the team is tough. I don't think it's any secret we're trying to add two or three bodies to the group. Um, but I'm, I'm going to stick that I'm going to stick with a view that I've, I've said to Leon and to the chairman often enough in the last two weeks is that when you bring want to bring players in the building that we really feel can play a meaningful part in the season ahead. And um, but we're in a good place, we're in good shape, everyone's available. Looking back at pre-season, there's been plenty of positive performances, but being fit, sharp, and, and ready to go for the season must be one of the main priorities. Yeah, I think it's I think it's been a mix in pre-season. There's been uh, parts we've been absolutely delighted with. There's, there's a lot of things that we're still trying to get chemistry and understanding within the group. But I don't think anyone does, can dispute that to to play the way we did against Peterborough, to play the way that we did against uh, West Brom and, and Derby and, of course, at West Ham. So, uh, particularly the West Ham performance was very impressive. But, you know, my understanding was it was not going to be spoken about. Now it's everywhere. Um, so, so from that point of view, we were very good. But we... We were very good in spells in the other games, so it's competition, it's fierce to get in. On to Tranmere, they've got a manager you know very well and they're tipped to be one of the promotion favourites for the season. What would be key to get the positive result there? I think I was playing really well. I think if we don't play really well, we'll, we'll get nothing. I think that's not a huge credit to, to Mickey Mellon. He gets wonderful support from the Palios family and from the people of Tranmere. I've said it, people of Liverpool get right behind their team. I hope I see Mike Dean there tomorrow as a supporter. <laughs> a few words, but um, no, listen, they're a, they're a really good football club. Mickey's a very experienced manager, good manager, knows knows the game, knows players, played at a real good level. Um, nothing but respect for Mickey, so we know it's going to be tough. That being said, do you know your stuff in Leopard Saturday or the next few days is still to check about? No, I don't know. No, no. Yeah. And a word on captaincy. Obviously, we've seen a few players have the armband in pre season. I don't think anyone's had it twice during pre-season. I think we, I think we've got a lot of captains in the dressing room. We'll ultimately select a club captain because that's what the profile of that does. Um, but there'll be a there'll be a vice captain and a captain named tomorrow. But well, obviously, I'll address the group first, Alfie, and they they understand that there's there's a number of players in competition for that. And just finally, a word to the supporters: they're buzzing to start getting going, and start trekking up and down the country, following your team again. Um, what do you have to say to them? Well, I think like every club, we're, we're, I said it at Gillingham and Peterborough and in, in places like Rotherham and Leeds, you, you have to mean it, Mansfield, you have to mean it that any football club is nothing without the supporters, without the local community, the town or the city. And, um, you know, we just, we're tipped by every tips that I've seen right and have a comment in the last week, we're going to be in the bottom four or five again. So our first objective must not to be, uh, to be in that four or five and, and prove all them wrong and then we'll, First 10 games, we'll have a look, see if we've got a recruitment right, because that's when we'll know. Um, and we'll see leading up to the end of August of whether we can sharpen that recruitment a little bit further. And just finally, on recruitment, two or three looking to come in. When would, what do we expect to see then? Well, I think it, it could be, it could have been today, but I don't think it's going to maybe be today now. But uh, I said it could be any time between now and deadline day, can it? There's a lad that we've, that we've expressed an interest in all the way through the summer, but we were told yesterday, expecting it today, we were told they've had some injuries, so it's probably going to be two or three weeks down the line before they let them come out. So we're almost in a little chain at, at certain times with certain players. We understand it, and experience and naivety would, would say you want everyone in today and we'll take a lesser class of player. That, that simply can't be an option. The football club's been here too many times. And I did have a good conversation with the chairman earlier this week when he said you're the first manager ever that's told me that you just don't want stocking fellas. Stocking fellas are for Christmas. Yeah, thank you. You liked that one, didn't you? <laughs> 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 Sorry.
you've seen a lot of day ones of the season. How does this feel? Does this feel any different? Or? No, I think they're all exciting. I think there's there's ones that you think we're at home and we've got a good crowd and we should deal with these. And sometimes it doesn't happen that way. Um, first day is never a never a sign of where you're going to be. I think over the years, I'd say I've, I'm, again I've done a lot of opening days and I've got to beat a lot of opening days. It's um, the ten game mark is when you can sort of pitch yourself and assess individuals where they are within the group, etc. But that's an opening day for any anyone involved in football, from from the manager to the chairman to the to the girls who help with your cooking or laundry to the to the supporters. It's um, and they're the most important people. Open day for them is, is fantastic, and it is it's the start of freedom again, where football takes over the lives, and that's men and women. And, and me and this interview wish the lionesses tomorrow night every success. Uh, so yeah, tomorrow night half five, in it. So we'll be watching that on the coach, and I'll be home rooting for them. But back to us. Um, it's a brilliant opening day of the season um, and always want to be everyone remembers their opening day and everyone remembers their final day Have you noticed a, a sort of a slight difference in attitude difference in focus amongst the group this particular time of year? Yes um, I think we, we addressed them eight or nine days ago and said we're getting ready now um, performances do count in training we've, we've actually changed the, my thoughts and, and Paul's thoughts have changed towards the team just, to, just based on training in the last five or six sessions so it does change it, um, but you get to a stage where you have to settle your mind and, and we understand in, in really close detail what drum it will be about. So we have to make sure that we're organised, we have to make sure we're strong, uh, we have to make sure we take chances when they come. It's a very difficult place, uh, Prenton Park, to go and get a result at any time. But uh, there's been a real focus now, group, a real determination to be in the team and that's always the first sign that you look for. Talking about you talked about transfers coming in, what about any leaving? Have you any movement there? I think they'll only be the young lads. I think there's no doubt that Jack and Alfie or Jack Smith and Alfie, um, Alfie's going on loan today. I think he's going on loan at some stage today. They are looking for, but there's no, <laughs> but he's going to have, have approved a loan for Alfie to go out today. Jack is, um, if it's a couple of clubs inquire about Jack, but nothing that we feel as a management team that would benefit him, so he's still in the building. And young mccarthy has got a slight knock after the game at Peterborough Sports, but it should be fit to be back on the training ground Monday, then he'll go on loan. Other than that, no one will leave the building. We've got 18, 19 players. We're, we're two and a half short, as I call it. That means we're two and I may have a last-minute go with the chairman. But no, I think I think now we've got to the stage where we're just in the, the squad is good, the youngsters are good on loan. They've worked really, everyone in the group's worked really hard. And to get here, we have everyone available to us to train today. Is, is fantastic. Dean Campbell's back on the training ground today um, and that's good and we've got a closed door game next Tuesday just to make sure the, the boys that are on the bench at, at Tranmere and uh, etc have another 90 minutes and, and then we'll be good to go again Stockport for our, our home league debut of the season but it all starts on Saturday. You know coming back we someone added to the points tally on Saturday would be a big big result because tough place to go but we, we'll be ready.